first game, maybe that might a couple of first games trying to keep in the back pocket for uh, I think there's wrinkles each week that you have. We have wrinkles in, in all three phases. Um, certainly you game plan during the week, and bye week gives you a little extra time. You talk about your sophomore quarterback, yeah. turnovers, no sacks, yeah. very efficient tonight again. Five touchdowns, to see count for Just as he continues to grow and gain that confidence, because a lot of people kind of think he might be the best quarterback in the state right now. Well, I think... I think the key for Jordan is to continue to remain hungry and humble. And that's what I've seen. Uh, going back to my answer really with you, um, that's where I've seen Jordan is his practice habits have been extremely good. Um, he's been very consistent. And all he does on game day is a reflection of what he's done all week. And so I'm really proud of him for that. Coach, um, there's been a couple of big ones like this in program recently, like Boise State went in. And you guys kind of faltered after those games. How do you really make sure? We didn't falter the, after the 2014 win. Okay, how do you replicate the We did after win? the 2015 win. <laughs> Point well made. I think it's hopefully going to go back to us as coaches and, and as players and kind of what I mentioned right there to Isaac. I mean, I think there's a maturity factor that has to kick in. The maturity and the experience factor have to kick in to where we go right back to work. If our guys will remain coachable, if they'll, um, you know, they can handle praise and handle criticism at the same time and continue to work, it's just going to be, you know, one week at a time. And I think that's what we have to do. And r real talk, in 2015, we, we lost a couple close games and we kind of lost a little bit of mojo. And that's football. If you can win a couple close games, you get that mojo and the big mo starts rolling downhill and we're going to have to win some close games coming up. Thanks, guys. Senior center, Quinn Ficklin, sophomore quarterback, Jordan Love. One note before we start. It's the first time in school history that Utah State scored 40-plus in four straight games. Um, we'll open with Jordan and then Quinn. We'll actually, we'll go Quinn first, Jordan second. Just give us an opening comment on how you guys thought you played offensively, and then we'll take questions. Uh, I thought we played really well as a unit tonight. Uh, every position group, inside receivers, outside receivers, offensive line, I think we played really well collectively. We kept Jordan clean most of the night. Actually, thank you. You only got tackled when you ran or scrambled, stay in the pocket. Um, <laughs> other than that, you know, we ran the ball well. We had a good scheme. Coach Yost and Farmer and everybody else had us ready to roll. Um, yeah, it was a great night for us as an offense. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, for me, um, like I said, just a great night um, on both sides of the ball, offense and defense. I mean, offense, we were able to move the ball like how we wanted. I mean, there was a couple of drives, um, went three and out, but – that happens uh, in the defense. I mean, they had a tremendous game. I think it said like 14 rushing yards, something like that. So, I mean, they played a great game. And uh, that's all I got to say. Quick, man, I got to ask you because I know somebody's going to. So, I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, being back here, playing your old team, what, what was that like and to come back and, and put it on them like this? Uh, surreal. It was awesome. You know, uh, to come back down, um, you know, I spent three years of my life here in Provo playing for this program for Bronco and Kalani and to come back down with my brothers from Logan and to win in that fashion and to, to dominate them, frankly. Um, you know, it was a great way to come off a of bye week and, and be together as a team here, and it's felt great. So I appreciate the question. It felt great. Kind of on that second road game of the year, Hamilton, you've managed to silence a pretty large crowd. Uh, do you guys really feed off those moments where it is get silent in it? Um, you mean as far as, as like as us go? Uh, I would say that we do a really good job in practice of having everything be really loud. Uh, so we get used to functioning as a unit with noise. And so when you get here, you kind of just tune it out. And then when it gets quiet, it just kind of feels the same because you haven't been paying attention to them anyways. So it makes it easier to communicate. I didn't have to yell as much when we got up by a lot of it in the, in the first and second quarter. So. I saved my voice a bit, I guess, but other than that, no, I didn't really 
had no real effect on us. Jordan, you just got seven straight weeks of mountain rest play now. Kind of the ultimate goal is the mountains championship. How do you stay focused after a big win like this that, you know, you get a little cry, a lot of momentum? Now how do you get back to focusing on the mountain rest? Uh, I, I mean, we'll, we'll stay focused by just coming in next week and just having a good week of practice by me. Uh, like Coach said, I mean, this game was just, just really about pride. Um, the games that matter are coming up, these Mount West games. Um, these are the ones that matter, so I don't think we'll have a problem staying focused. Yeah, talking about that, I mean, all week we've been talking about winning the Mount West. Probably more than we've been talking about beating BYU. I mean, we break down as our goals to win a Mount West championship, and that's how we break every practice and every period. So there's, there'll be no refocusing because we've been focused on. How good does it feel like? If I could fit like the people attached to Valley back there behind you wanting this win, does it feel, I mean, just tell me what it's like to be the one being able to carry it back to them. No, it feels great. Um, they, they say it hasn't been back there back to back years in like 40 something years. So, I mean, it feels great to back to back wins and just keep it in cash value. So, if you might have wasted a little bit of gas bringing it down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, personally, I mean, I really don't care about that, about being the best quarterback in the state. Um, I care about being the best quarterback at Utah State, so I mean, um, that's really all I care about. How nice is it to have a guy that stands in, takes a hit, but can still complete passes, is confident behind you guys to knock down, you know, to get rid of the ball quick and so forth, to have a leader like that behind you? It's really nice. It makes us look really good because he throws the ball out pretty fast, so even if you get beat. It's like, ball's gone. So it's it's really good to have a guy like Jordan back there making the right reads and commanding the offense. It's really good. It's, it's nice, dude. I just, just couldn't do it without you, bud. Um, just another question. Thurlon Thompson had a pretty good game as well and had a couple of just spectacular plays, a couple of hurdles. How nice is it to have another weapon like that that has it's just an athletic gift like that to be able to make plays, even if he is wanted? It's great. I mean, you don't have to give him very much space. He's pretty small. That's why he's here, frankly. I mean, if he was bigger, he wouldn't be here. He's a great, great specimen. He's a great guy, a really, really great teammate. His locker's right next to mine, so I know him pretty well. Um, and, and you give him a little bit of a crease or a little bit of a hole, and he'll hit it hard every time. He runs uh, runs behind his pads really well. And in the open field, he'll make you miss, or he'll go right over you or right through you. So I'm really glad I don't ever have to tackle him. Frankly, I mean, I'm dead serious. I would not want to tackle him. I outweigh him by maybe 80 pounds. I'll just block. That's fine. Can you tell us a little bit more about this chemistry, not just between you two, but just overall in the team? Um, it seems a little different this year. Do you feel the same way? What What's different about this team? And um, tell me a little bit about the brotherhood you guys call it. Um. I mean, you can you can kind of see the chemistry is different. I mean, just being on the sideline. Um, uh, but I mean, this is a this is probably the closest team I've been on. Just talking about brotherhood standpoint. Um, uh, everybody has everybody's back. So, and then and when we're playing good, I mean, everybody's cheering for each other. So, uh, I say this this is probably one of the best teams I've been on with team chemistry. So, so we got a lot of guys who are interested in the team doing well as opposed to having a lot of guys who are interested in themselves doing well. Uh, and I think that has to go a lot to our offseason work uh, with Coach Scholes and his staff, getting us to really work together and uh, become one as opposed to being a bunch of individuals. So it's been, it's been really good that people want to succeed collectively and, and for that be our motivation. Jordan, this is proving to be a historically good Utah State offense for trading in over 40 points. How much pride do you take in? The consistency of this wasn't just one or two games. This has been four games and counting. Yeah, I mean, we take a lot of pride in I mean, you hear people talking about, like, we are only doing good because we're playing teams that, I mean, maybe weren't so good. But uh, that's obviously not the case. I mean, we're really good offense. I mean, we got weapons everywhere. So um, that's that's kind of the, 
uh, goal for our offense is just put up as many points as we can and uh, take the stress off the defense. Anything else for other player? Any souvenirs you guys are going to take from a game like this? Uh, yeah, I've got some grass right here. I just ripped up from the 50-yard line. So I'm going to be keeping that. And then, of course, the wheel, which we're not, yeah. like, taking because we already had it. So I guess keeping that, yeah. I would say. Yeah. And then I get to meet one of my buddies, Austin Moy, the right tackle. I'm going to go meet his baby tomorrow, so that'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Anything else? This is why they never invite me. Do You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>